It was a sweltering summer night, so boiling you could fry a hot pocket on the palm of your hand. I was about to knock off for the evening, until... So you're a mile. He said. Saw the sign in the door, didn't you, pal? Well, I don't know. I guess I was expecting someone bigger. You've got the jaw of a paper mache kitten, and you're trying to tell me I'm not hard-boiled enough? See, trying to track down a good book. I haven't seen one in quite a while. Aren't we all, buddy? Oh, I'm, I mean, I guess. I... Spit it out, Junior. I got a tip on a dog named Rainbow down at the track. Just worried. Not reading anything in six weeks. I usually don't take this kind of case, but I got a connection at the Forbes Library. You know, downtown. Thank you so much. Don't say thank you, Mac. This ain't charity. $25 a day, plus expenses. He had a handshake that felt like a bowl of jello at a dentist appointment. Was I in the mood for this deal? Nah. Was I scared to take the case? Not really. Besides, I had a couple of books I needed to renew. Why the far away look, Marlo? Penny for your thoughts. Come back when you got a roll of quarters. I'll let you know if I find anything. Now get lost. I was following a lead that had less direction than a beatnik at a job interview. I decided to have a look-see into the archives for some clues. And then it hit me like a watermelon pitched to Archie Vaughn. The Forbes Library Summer Reading Program is on. Book displays? Reading lists? You bet your hanky. I just finished a great book, so I filled out a summer reading form. They entered me into a raffle with prizes donated by local businesses. The librarian slapped me with some summer reading swag, a free book, and a Forbes Library badge. It was all in the level. Confidentially speaking, between the two of us, I'll have you know that I came up with great recommendations for my client and even picked up a few things for myself on the way out. <laughs> 